Hello YouTube. I just wanted to talk to you about a Rebel Commando situation I've got going on here. Here are two unpunched versions I own. Uh, yeah, I've got the both variants. The black and the white. <laughs> and um, yeah, one's revenge card and the other is return. Anyway, here's the original deal with the Rebel Commando. I was really disappointed uh, with a deal I did on eBay a long time ago now. Uh, but I kind of worked a way around it. We all have been good deals on eBay. We all we all have a good one, and we all have a, some ones that we look back on and think, God, I could have got that a lot cheaper. Here's a good example of a deal. Like him, I won for nine pounds, including postage, and he goes for a lot more money than that now on eBay. I've noticed. Also, I got a Luke Bespin fatigues. I'm pointing over there. You can't see with the silver foil variant, and I got him for like eight pounds, including postage, which is a bargain. You know, at auction. So if you're patient enough, you can get some good deals on eBay. But a while back, I bought... Well, this is what I've done. Let me just show you very quickly the car back. I've actually opened him now, because I do want him loose. And I've put inside a vintage Rebel Commando, which I also won on eBay for like £3, including a Chief Chirper. So I've put him inside this car back. But the thing is, it really annoyed me, because a while back, I won... This was the first when he was inside it. This was the first Rebel Commando I won. But it cost me £35, and at the time, I thought he was that was the going rate for him, because I hadn't seen many on eBay, I didn't know enough about the market, I thought, oh, that's the going rate for him, so I bought it. I think it was like £5 postage. And then in retrospect, I was always disappointed, because then I saw how cheap you could get them. I do keep records of how much everything's cost me. This was a lot cheaper, this was like £25, I think these were like £20 or £25, and they're also unpunched. Now the problem with this fella was, when I got him, and I've taken him out now, was that, firstly, the guy had sort of, it's my own fault for not checking properly, but the guy had sort of taken a photograph of it on eBay with a black background, so I swear to God, it looked like it was unpunched, but it wasn't, it was punched. And then when he delivered it, I was really annoyed with him as well, because he he was really lucky, the fellow who sold it and sent it to me, because he'd put it in like a jiffy bag, and when it arrived, you know, honestly speaking, it was fine, but I don't know, maybe the one of the creases on the top was caused because of that bad posting or packaging. So I sent him a message saying, you know, it's a bit of sour grapes on my part because I was already annoyed that the thing was punched. And I said, hey, man, you know, why have you sent it in a jiffy bag, yada, yada. Didn't even apologise, the guy, so was, I didn't really like him. <laughs> anyway, I'm a bit bitter about it. But anyway, so I thought to myself, I really, number one, I wanted it, I want it loose. But I thought, I don't want to open this because it cost me so much money. But actually, I thought around it and I thought, well, what I could do is I could open it, have him loose, which is quite a really good figure, let me just say. Fantastic, I've just got him in a random pose there. But I thought to myself, what I could do is put a vintage version of him inside this packaging, which is a great idea. I've not actually done that very many times. I did that once with a Vader. I put an old vintage Vader inside an open vintage collection packet. Uh, but he looks really good inside. I very carefully opened it. I didn't use a Stanley knife. I just used a th very thin kitchen knife. Um, he did come with a blaster which I did do a little review on how to clean him because he did have a faint smell of smoke. So I used soapy water. He still does, actually. I might need to do that again. <laughs> I used soapy water and vinegar. Maybe I need to let him soak for longer. It does work, that method. But anyway, <clears throat> I'll put the blaster in later. But he does look really good inside. And I'm not going to use the internal bubble because, you know, there's sort of like a special internal holder that keeps all the weapon and everything in place because he's actually too tall for that. So I'm just going to let him stand in there. I'll sort him. I haven't finished yet and I certainly haven't sealed him in yet. <laughs> but I've, I've opened it enough or well enough to sort of seal it there. So I just wanted to show you that. So now I feel a lot better about that because if I was to try and sell what I got for £35, I'd have to list him higher up on eBay because, uh, you know, you've got to... Keep in mind the eBay fee of 10% and the, the PayPal fee. And nobody would want to buy him for £35 plus pounds because the, I've noticed on eBay the, the going rate for this guy, star action figures, and loads of people are selling him for around about the 29 99 mark. So I'd never get my money back. So I thought, sod it. I'm going to open him up, have him loose, and then make good use of this car back because that is a proper Hasbro car back, as you know. And with him loose inside, I can now display him with my old vintage figures outside as you've seen in another video so there you go i just thought i'd share that with you there rebel commando huh let me know your thoughts have you done that with many have you opened many vintage car backs and put old figures in i know that flyguy.net has done that before but let me know um without wanting to disrespect restore nation who i use this is likely better because that is a proper glossy car back so it looks pretty cool 
bring back the 1980s there. This has been Only One Kenobi. Only One. Out. <laughs>